This session, we are happy to introduce Blenderland, the Italian Blender Community Virtual World. Our speakers today are Dario Galanti, Galantini excuse me, and Cinzia Rosso. Dario is the Vice President of the Italia Association of Blender Italia. And Cinzia is a research fellow at the University College Dublin. Welcome all. Let's begin the session. Over to you, Cinzia. Uh, good afternoon to all. I'm Cinzia and I'm speaking on behalf of Dario Galandini, who is the real expert on Blender here, uh, not me actually. Uh, we'd like to thank the organizers who kindly gave us the great opportunity to speak here in OSCC and promote our new and growing Italian Blender community. We'd also like to thank Michelle Techland, who is hosting us on our server and also for giving us the opportunity to learn about this world. We are aware uh, to be at the very beginning of our virtual trip, but we are as well aware that this is the best opportunity we have to learn as much as possible from you, from all of you. So let's go start now. Blender is a, uh, the free and open source 3D creation suite. It supports the entire 3D pipeline, modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, com compositing, and motion tracking, even video editing and game creation. Originally, the program was developed as an internal application by the Dutch animation studio uh, Neo Geo by the lead author, uh, Ton Rosendahl, here in the peak. Today, uh, Blender is a very active open source project and is led by the Blender Foundation. Advanced users employ Blender's API for Python scripting to customize the application and to write specialized tools. Often, uh, uh, these are included in Blender's future releases. Last release was the 2.79 Sable or 2.8 as, as a beta version. Blender is a well suited to, in the, to individuals and small studios who benefit from its unified pipeline and responsive development process. The Blender Italian Association is born to promote in Italy the software for a 3D Blender published by Blender Foundation. Uh, to acquire and propose explanatory contents on the use of Blender software, to relate the Italian professional and non-professional artists who use Blender software or who would like to learn how to use it, grant some visibility to professionals, where possible financially support the Blender Foundation by the development fund system as a gold standard, uh, to relate with the Blender Foundation itself where possible, through participation and representation at the Blender conference. The Italian Association has been constituted in uh, 2017. Uh, the community is currently exponentially growing. Main objectives are contribution to the Blender Development Fund in order to maintain the software always available, make it as much possible as possible, create new relationships among the users, promote Blender in Italy uh, through school, academy, companies, publish the Blender magazine Italia, Italia and create new more funding op opportunities. The Blender Italian Association is very active on the major social channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. To date, uh, on our YouTube channel, we can easily find uh, videos for the, from the Italian Blender Conference 2018 and courses from our certified tutors. On the website www.blender.it, we have the most recent versions of the courses and tutorials. Thanks to our forum section, a lot of help is provided by our users if any help is needed. Every year in the Blender Italian Association, meets in a conference free of charge for all those who want to, particip to participate. Blender Italian Conference 2019 Foligno the, uh, is the most recent one. 
The topics ranged from the possibility to replace CAD with Blender in uh, architecture to the Blender use in scenography creation for theater and video games production. All those topics have been covered by the leading experts of Blender on the Italian scene. Um, Francesco Andresciani, uh, developments of the training offer experience, Blender and work. Marco Caccini, Blender in architecture. Osvaldo Gervasi, project school job alternations uh, from University of Perugia. Cristina Ducci, Blender in the theatrical scenography and physical realization of the elements of the scenography as the backdrops and the sculptures. Claudio Naviglio, uh, Blender as a complete product and a valid artistic and professional tool. Stefano Del Brocco, Blender Valid Tool for Video Makers. Cristina Ducci, Blender Magazine Italia, the Italian magazine dedicated to Blender. Alec Mugnozzo, Polis, possible uh, users of Python in Blender the, in both artistic and non-artistic fields. Other initiatives have been carried out by our associates throughout Italy in order to focus the general public attention on the enormous potential of Blender. On the website blender.it, which aims to be the point of communication and training of the Italian Blender community, there are several community projects at the moment, such as the contest, the forum itself, and uh, Icorti, a new project whose aim is the creation of open movies, short films, for the Susan Awards, an event held every year in Amsterdam in conjunction with the Blender conference. Last but not least, Blender.it hosts Blender Italian Association, Association, which, according to its stages, organize conferences, workshops, courses, and much more. Blenderland is a project started in 2018 and foresees the initial construction of an island and a city where the members have the right to build up meeting areas, public places and buildings. The most interesting part, however, is the presence of the virtual headquarters of the association, a virtual building containing meeting areas, classrooms and a lecture hall for seminars. OpenSIM was seen as a way to straighten up the spirit of creation in a 3D family environment. Currently, the work can be considered completed at 50% rate and is expected to end at the beginning of the new year. At the moment, we have completed the headquarters, Blender headquarters plus meeting rooms, the landing, lighthouse plus the golf, the Blender box as a sandbox and the landscape, uh, the full island. The road and the railway with a proper train linking the landing to the Blender headquarter will be completed in the next few days. The goal to be reached is to have a complete and functional virtual island where to hold online courses and conferences dedicated to the use of Blender. Users can deepen their knowledge of the software and, thanks to qualified instructors, bring their creations into the virtual world using the land dedicated to Blender Box. At the moment, Blenderland is used for training and self-training on Blender software, Blender Lab, production of scenarios and environments for virtual worlds, better communications uh, between the members and between anyone who can access in the future um, Blender Box and Museum and the ex exploration of Blender's plot potential in relation to virtual worlds. One of the objectives objective will, be to, uh, will be the opening of this environment to everyone as soon as it will be completed, approximately 2019. Soon, the Blender community has been experimenting with OpenSIM. Up to now, the project has foreseen the following operational steps. 
creation of a working group for the design of the island. And to date, this working group is composed of Alessandro Bassariello, Dario Galantini, Michele Occhioni, as, such as M Michelle Teckland, and uh, Francesco Andresciani. Provide an avatar to all the associates initially as preset template and subsequently as avatar mesh. Creation of procedure of video tutorials explaining the viewer as some members had no experience of using virtual platforms on the right, figure D, and creation of procedures and tutorials for importing objects generated with Blender. Blender box development training land for beginners and mesh import, definition of spaces and dimensions, definition of the training modality, hold the association meetings in Blenderland, with, uh, which are currently held online. In, okay. in the future, we'll, we will grant guided tours to the public through hypergrids to schools, public ad administration, and so on. Make it as much visible as, as possible. Create new relationships uh, among the users. Promote Blender in Italy through school academy companies. Cooperate with uh, other virtual worlds, Blenderland partners all over the world. Um, create a market as a social space with the opportunity to sell their creations to all the users. Create an uh, offer-demand job lab space. Uh, create areas for recreation and socialization. Uh, create interactions between people for the knowledge generation, integrating forums, wikis, and so on. Implement innovative technologies such as virtual reality viewers. Organizing the Italian Blender Conference in the virtual world. So thank you for your attention. And if there is any question? I haven't seen any questions to date, but I did see some com comments that this is fabulous, that they <laughs> love Blender. Galen's busy patting her Blender. And, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, there is a question. Did you make your slides in Blender? <laughs> did you make the slides uh, in Blender? Uh, no, uh, but um, all the figures you see uh, of the land, they were, everything was done in Blender on the land. Excellent. And Amber says, Blender is amazing. I use it every day. <laughs> I <Yeah>. do too. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know Marcus does um, cinematography. He does his video making using Blender. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, there were a couple of uh, new movies uh, that came out in the last year, and they are really amazing. Lots, lots of work behind it. And we had a question from Olive Tree saying, is this open to the public, Blenderland? Sure. Um, at, not at the moment. Uh, we are just completing the, the land, but it will be soon in 2019, probably. Our plan is to make it free and uh, in 2019. Yeah, um, the program um, is free. It's totally free in, in Italy, yes. Wonderful. Yes, and she was asking about the grid. So in 2019, it'll be available to the public. Wonderful. Um, any other questions? Would be cool to use the VR headset in Blenderland, Sun says. Well, I want to thank it, you for... It will. <laughs> oh, good. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. How complex is Blender, Eco Onis asks, for a beginner in 3D design? Huh? We're conferring um, with the expert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead. No, it's just a matter of exercise. Uh, I mean, it's a bit complicated at the very beginning, but uh, as long as you work on it, it will really get easy to use. Okay, we have a question from David Braghi, who says, slightly off topic, in film and video production, what would be the primary area 
in which one can integrate Blender and Open Simulator for an animated film project. And this might be a question for Marcus, too. Go right ahead. Did you want to confer with Dario? What they're asking is, um, if you're using Blender for film and video, is it possible to make an animated film using OpenSim? Um, okay, my expert here says that uh, as long as Blender is really complete as software, it, uh, it can be used for each step in the video production. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Well, that's the end of our time. If you have additional questions, please send them to Dario or to Chinzia directly. And um, thank you, Dario and Chinzia, for a terrific presentation. Mm -hmm.